So, 6 0, part two. We're going back together. Got the block cleaned on the engine stand. I've already put the cam in it. Pistons quarters are in it, but we sent the block off this year and had it doweled. Uh, we did notice a little bit of fretting on the mains, so it's doweled and now has main studs. But got the crank in the parts washer. It's getting cleaned up. About to throw bearings in it, and we're going to go ahead and start assembling a short block. Getting ready to start slapping rods and pistons in it. Running Total Seals uh, Gapo second ring on it. So with these sec or Gapo second rings, it runs a rail underneath the ring. So it technically never has a gap. But we're gonna get these slapped in here. Keep it rocking on with it. Getting the rods dropped in one at a time. Did put quick seat in all the cylinders and they're coated with uh, driven braking and oil. But this will be next. Getting the rings lined up, using some total seal lube on the rings. Getting them dropped in one at a time. Short block is together with our new stage two RCD cam. Still got a set of Cowie's rods, ARP rod bolts, uh, kill devil pistons, and then our new main studs and our new rings. Uh, probably throw the upper roll pan, lower roll pan on it next. Roll it over and get ready to put the heads on. All right, guys, got the headset on, getting the Valve train and everything put in so I can torque the heads down. Uh, this time we're going together with some uh, RCD uh, tool steel valve bridges. Same set of 625s, but we also got the rocker boxes powder coated. And then I'm also running the bulletproof diesel oil cooler delete plate with an external cooler that y'all see a little bit later. But been using this Hot Shots assembly lube, and this shit is tacky. All right, guys, trying to throw in some little tech tips here while I'm putting this together for studs. I know everybody's got a different way that they do them. Everybody's been told something, heard this, heard that. The way I like to do studs is air P lube up top. I put a little bit of um, just clean engine oil on the block side of the stud. Tighten them down and back them off half a turn. And then I put ARP lube on the washer, both sides, and on the bottom of the nut. Go ahead, torque them down. I do them in, I do a, a set torque of like 25 foot pounds just to get everything on there. And I'll go through it twice. Just make everything's on there down flat and then I'll go through the torque procedure. And with these, uh, they're gonna go to two, I'm gonna do 275 on them, go just a tiny bit over the factory spec. That's what I did last time, and the head gasket looked perfect. So, got the push rods in, set of Kill Devil Chromoly push rods. I have to put together a new set of rocker arms. Um, truck's gonna get new rocker arms, because last set on cylinder eight, it blew out one of the ball ends on the tip of the rocker. So might as well replace all of them while we're in here, get a fresh set. All right guys, heads are torqued. Gonna start working on the front cover. 
I still gotta put these two plugs in. Uh, that's something else I did. Uh, normally these are two freeze plugs, but I have drilled them out and tapped them pipe thread because um, they like to, on some high horsepower stuff that makes a little more oil pressure, they like to, to leak around the freeze plug. So I gotta put those two pipe thread plugs in, clean these surfaces up, and then I'll slap the front cover on it uh, and then work on getting the O-Dogs on and keep going from there. So for all those who are asking, um, machine the block, two divided ports you could feed and return off of either side. But way I'm gonna do it, two dash eight lines run up, feed through the front, runs out forward, and then returns out of the back fitting. I wish those are just a banjo, banjo style on the back to clear the up pipes on both sides. And then these are get heat sleeved. Um, just so that they stay tight, and then I'll P-clamp them down all the way around. These will catch a P-clamp here, but, you know, with a normal oil cooler, this block definitely will not work. Um, you're going to eat the turbo just from how much higher they sit. Uh, but something we make in-house. Um, I kind of came up with a design, and me and the boss machined it the other day.